right now, J. Cole got the internet going cray cray or brazy, you know, as some would say, brazy. Uh, he dropped what? False prophets? Oh. Then he dropped Everybody Dies. Oh. Why he did the game like that, bro? Why he did the game like that, bro? Why he did the game like that, bro? Crazy. Crazy record. But I, don't, I, I to to answer to answer that question, I, I I don't even know where his head at right now. You know, uh, like you know, J Cole going his hiatus. You know, he he just hold that content in and he just spurt it out when he want to. You know, he 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 on his hold. You feel me? So you gotta get J Cole on during the album. Then I can probably tell you, you know that album dropped December 9th. Y'all go cop that. By the way, plug for him. You know, what I'm saying December 9th. Uh, you know, everybody go get that. Uh, for your eyes only. That's gonna be one I think. But hey. From these two records, I really can't tell where his head at. Um, on False Prophets, it it, it sounds like he's just going at his idols. You feel me? It, it sounds like a letdown record. Like you know, he famous for you know letting Nas down. He famous for being let down. You know, so or or being the letdown. Now he feeling let down. You know what I'm saying? So it's kind of like he's a it's a interesting introspective. You know what I'm saying? So he really went loose on that one. And, um, but this everybody dies got me like researching on J Cole. You know what I'm saying? This everybody dies. I'm really you know, he got me he got me diving on that one, you know, because he really came hard at the young niggas. You know what I'm saying? The young nigga wave, you know, it's heavy. You know what I'm saying? It's heavy out there, but hey, he really came at the young niggas. He really said like like little whatever. Like it was like live and direct. It was live and direct. Like he you he a six four rapper, you a five four rapper. He went you know I'm talking about like went loose going at Knicks, you know, you know what I'm saying. But I, I, I'm, I'm used to the pioneer, J, you know, Cole, J Cole. You know what I'm saying. He always on his loner, but, but like I'm used to that, I'm used to that pioneer. And um, I don't know. I, I was just happened to come across this Sway interview. Um, it happened in 2015. And, you know, he was just giving his knowledge on what he seen the game was going. I'm, I'm hey, what I'm gonna do is I'm actually play this clip for y'all. Y'all check this out. Going back and looking at some of the pioneers. Yes. Um. And by even talking to that, that just grew my perspective on who you are because you're kind of like a bridge for my generation uh. and, and your generation. Mm. Things that confuse me about this generation of rappers seem like it confuses you too. It don't confuse me because I understand them. I know them. Even if I don't know them personally, I know somebody that I grew up with yeah. that is them. So I understand the mentality. I also remember a time in the culture yeah. in my short life where it was like, felt more interesting, felt more like, felt more exciting, mm -hmm. less like critical, less everybody worry about first week numbers and like, oh, who's the hottest? It was more like, yo, we getting this album finally? Mm -hmm. We getting the Nas album, we getting the J album finally? Oh, Lauryn Hill got an album? Jay-Z dropped on the same day as Lauryn Hill and Trial Call Quest. Who knows the first week number? Who mm -hmm. knows who beat who? Nobody gives a fuck. Mm -hmm. Back then, I'd be finding myself going back in time, like just trying to connect the dots. Like I was just watching this documentary I told you about, it's called like Big Big Fun in the Big City or the, in the Big Town or whatever. Yeah. It's like these Dutch dudes came over and did a documentary in the 80s on hip hop, this new thing called hip hop. And they had all these interviews, Grandmaster Flash, Dougie Fresh, they, they interviewed LL like in his crib in Queens. And when I look back, I'm like, they was having way more fun with this stuff than what we are. Yeah. It was way more about like the music, the energy, the culture. This is new. Now I feel like every whether they know it or not, people are tired. These albums that's coming out, people bored, bro. It's the truth. And it's like the few bright spots in hip hop is like, it's sad that that's it. Because at one time, everything was a bright spot. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So I'll just be waiting for that new thing. What's that new thing that's coming? Yeah. I feel like something new is coming. I, I realized this as I was watching that that same documentary, I was like, yo, when hip hop like came and got hot, yeah. soul music, which was like an evolution of like rhythm and blues, which is like an evolution of like blues and jazz, you know, yeah. soul music, which was like in its heyday, that morphed into disco. Yeah. That morphed into something corny, something that was so pure at one point, morphed into disco and now they seem so you got, you, you got the, exactly you got the young people subconsciously like 
we're not fucking with that. We need something new. And what grew out of that? Hip hop. Yeah. I'm only saying that to say it feels to me like we could be in that stage. I ain't saying we are. Because maybe hip hop come back to life. I mean, it's always going to be here. But I'm saying it might be time for something new. All right, y'all saw that video. And this is exactly why everybody dies got me on the fence. Now, I, I'm kind of seeing where J. Cole head at, but I'm kind of confused. You know, because as y'all saw in the video, he was talking about how he um saw, and, you know, was doing the connecting the dots and looking into hip hop and how he saw um the, that soul music, you know, transform into disco. And then out of disco, the young people was like, we ain't messing with that. So they made hip hop. Boom. And then um he's saying he don't, he not thinking that, uh, you know, hip hop is in that form as like soul music was, where it was transforming into something else. But he said that he think it's time for something new. Boom. Okay, so to me, that means he's looking, he looking for a new genre. Like, soul music and, and disco music ain't hip-hop at all. So he said that, I'm thinking in my head, okay, he looking for another genre. So that's why exactly why everybody dies didn't make sense to me. You know, for him to just done off all the young rappers, because he said whatever, little whatever, and to go at them like that, it, it just confused me. But one thing he also said was, chose by white man rappers. Chose by white man rappers. So, so to me, Throughout this whole transition, I know J. Cole been saying he wants to retire and all this. And then even tracing back to Sway interview, he was saying that he thinks the genre is changing into something that may actually ruin it as the same thing as, you know, soul music. And then into disco and it's dead. So maybe this whole time he been de- he been dealing with retiring, he wanna do all that. But then when his album came around, he probably like, nah, nah, I'm, I'm gonna take a stance for hip hop. So maybe it might not be an attack at the rappers. It may just actually be like, I'm standing up for hip hop, and it was just a sacrifice for Lance. You know, hip hop is gonna be hip hop. You know, so maybe throughout this time, you know, J. Cole been away on his, on, his, on his loner, he really like, I ain't retiring. Hip hop need me, so I gotta take a stance. And it just fell in line with, I mean, I mean, the 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 rappers that just fell in line, fell in line. You know, I mean, no, no, no harm, no no foul. So you know, everybody dies got me on the fence. I'm not really sure how I feel about it, but y'all let me know in the comment box. I'm gone.